All right, here's our first example problem. We're going to sketch the rectangle WXYZ, and then we're going to list everything that we know about it. Okay? Now, since it says to sketch rectangle WXYZ, that's the first thing we should do. Sketch it. So we're going to sketch that rectangle. Always go in clockwise order, all right, when you name the letters, WXYZ. Okay? So all we got to do now is say what are the, what, some things about this. Well, let's talk about some things we've done before. All right? The first thing, of course, was that if it's a rectangle, that means it has to have four congruent angles. Okay? So, so we can mark that, that they have congruent angles. So the first thing we'll say is that we have four congruent angles. All right? Okay? What else? Well, we know it's a parallelogram, so we know that in order for it to be a parallelogram, we have to be able to mark that this side and this side are parallel, as well as these two sides. Okay? So what we can, so another thing we can say is that opposite the opposite sides. Let's try it again. Both pairs, both pairs of opposite sides are um, parallel. Okay, and then. Another thing, of course, was that both pairs of opposite sides are also congruent. So I'm going to change this to and congruent. And at the same time, mark, um, mark those as well. So bang, 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 bang. All right? And then another thing was what we just learned about with the diagonals. The diagonals, of course, have to be congruent. So if I draw a diagonal going from here to there and there to there, we know that the diagonals are congruent. All right? So we can write down that the diagonals are congruent. And then just to um, um, say, just to say, all we're going to say is that any, anything that has to do with the parallelogram that we have not mentioned also works for a rectangle. So any other properties any other properties involving a parallelogram. Okay? 